Are you a thrill seeker? I would have said before that I wasn't, but after hearing this whole exchange, I would say yes, a thousand percent. And can you, can you give me an example? Um, I think because there's a lot of trauma in my past, I tend to try to be the hero that I always want to show up for me. Yeah. Um, and it's not hard to do in our culture being black, you're like, oh, ain't nobody messing with me. So you always yeah. step into situations becoming the hero to people that don't speak up for themselves. And um, I'm just in this today realizing that I'm always trying to be the hero that I've always wanted. And there is some thrill seeking in that. There's, there's probably all thrill seeking. It is, 100%. Yeah. One, nice, no, that's a good example. It's very interesting. Amazing. So listen, if you have anger, you're a thrill seeker. If you have fear, you're a thrill seeker. If you try to hurt yourself and others, you're a thrill seeker. If you worry, you're a thrill seeker. If you are uh, jealous and gossip and you feel like you got to be a part of a group, you're a thrill seeker. If you cannot stand alone, you're a thrill seeker. If you get mad at others because they get mad at you or whatever, you're a thrill seeker. There's so all that stuff is just thrill seeking. So don't lie to yourself from this day forward. Admit to yourself what it is so you can overcome it. Because I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it's not you. It's this thing that made a home in your imagination that you've been feeding all your life, thinking that it was you, and you've given it life, which is death. And when others attack you, forgive them. They're th seeking a thrill. That's all they're doing. They're seeking a thrill. They need a reaction from you so they can feel alive, which is death. It's really not life. It's just a thrill. It's just like a thought. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. It's not true. So don't hate them. Don't be mad at them. They don't understand. They cannot see. All right? So if the whole world turn against you, wish them well. And you be glad that you see it because you're seeing evil. And don't try to make it, force it into your life. You let evil go. Do not pay attention to evil. Give it no attention. See it and let it pass. In yourself and outside yourself, inside of others. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Anyone disagree with any part of that? No. Is this what helpful? Very. Yeah. No. Was it helpful for you? Yeah. In what way? Just realizing a lot of things. Seeing that's it. I do for real seek a lot. Yeah. Over nonsense. <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't matter. Can you give me a quick example of a nonsense thrill seeking? Just buying things. Yeah. You're wasting money on the stupid things. Yeah. Don't need. That Those is meaningless. Look at your house. You got so much stuff in your house you don't need, don't even <laughs> want. Yeah. Wonder why did I buy this? You were thrill seeking. I got two dogs. You want them? <laughs> <laughs> you kill her son. Well, if I take them, I'm gonna keep them outside. They're outside. Oh, they're outside now. Yeah, yeah, Nothing. They have a backyard. <laughs> Oh, good. Wow. Because the only time I want to see them, if I went in the backyard, hey, little doggy, True. and that's it. Yeah. I don't want to go out there to feed them, <laughs> to get them water or anything. They get their own. They were created to do it. But human beings in their fallen state, they make it po impossible for the dog to get water, for the dog to get food. The dog rely on you like a child, and you're killing the dog. Taking away its natural giving God talent to take care of itself. But you're taking away from your life as well. Absolutely. Taking away from your life, three are seeking. Mm -hmm. Jesse, isn't there a country saying that says, I'd rather have a suitcase full of my needs than a house full of junk or something like that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you need are your needs. That's it. And you'll be, per let me just say this, you'll be amazingly happy with your needs. But the thing about God, He loves us. He's going to give us beyond our need. Yeah. He really, really will. And you'll be able to enjoy it. You'll be able to keep it or give it away. You'll be able to, either way, it wouldn't matter. But he's going to overflow you with your needs. And they're going to happen naturally without you having to try to make them happen or worry or try to haul everything, keep everything yourself. He's going to make it happen. He loves his children. He's love. He'll make it happen. If you need to be married, he'll make that happen. 
If you're not, he'll make that happen, you'll be fine. All right? Stop being in this war thinking the answer is, oh, I got to get married. I got to have children. I got to have this. I got to have that. It's a setup. It's, you don't need to be married. Being married ain't going to give you life. it give you more hell. <laughs> That's all you're going to get, hell. If you do it in, the wrong, with, in this cave. But if you do it outside the wall, it'll be fine. All right? Amazing. So listen, in closing, I hope this will help a little bit. Yeah, so I want to encourage you to come into the present. Stay away from the, the yesterday and tomorrow. You want to be balanced. You want to be one. You want to be whole. You're not going to find it in the thoughts. You're not going to find it there. It's not there. You want to overcome thoughts. Don't look for the answers in the thoughts. The answers are not in the imagination. They are outside of the imagination, not inside of them. All right? So do the silent prayer. Watch. Um, and just watch. And, and go about your practical day doing your thing, but not as a sense of identity. It's just something you do. You work and whatever, right? And you'll be fine. Stop being a thrill seeker and stop assisting others in thrill seeking by overreacting to them or catering to them. You let them have their thrill, but don't be a part of it. Wish them well. All right. Sorry about the, not really sorry, but the technical problem. I, it happened, right? Uh, but we got to replay it or something, right, Jay? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll upload it on audio. I don't, we might be able to fix the audio for the audio podcast. Oh, okay. So it will be up on uh, rebuildingman.com slash church. And, and uh, for your tithe and offering donations, go to rebuildingtheman.com, rebuildingtheman.com, or buy me a coffee for your super chats. Yeah. Rebuildingtheman.com slash, slash what? That's just, just rebuildingtheman.com slash donate. Slash donate. And buy me a coffee.com slash Jesse. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't do any thinking. I have people think for me. I appreciate that. Thank you all for that. And but again, have a good week. And thank you all. That was amazing. Thank amazing. You. So what I want to do, let's stay quiet. Get your offering ready if you have it. And we're going to get that done. I want to welcome the first time visitors. And then we'll be out of here. Show them love by being quiet. If you can. <laughs>